hello everyone welcome back to my channel and uh, this is just point tv if you're coming across this channel for the first time please feel free to subscribe turn on your notification bell so that whenever i have an update you'll be among the first to see my video and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching so guys uh, in this video today i'll be you know talking about um only guys it's all about only in this my video and then uh, guys i want to share with you people the reason uh why um only wants queen naomi back to the palace and uh, why he you know he's he's been fighting he has been fighting seriously to see that uh, she returned back to the palace guys and again there's this little write-up i saw you know and i somehow i find the letter and uh, the write-up very interesting so i said i'm going to share with share it with you guys as well looking at the screen right away guys um is the beautiful moment uh, queen naomi uh, had with oni during uh, his uh, 47th birthday before they got separated so guys all these are the things i'm going to talk about about in this video so um just try and watch the video to the end then you'll know the reason why i'm making this video guys so guys um before i proceed um, um this is the right top so let me read it then um, you'll hear what uh, it is talking about uh only is just like ffk syria divorcee or uh, marry and uh, remarry according to the senior prophet tb joshua rest in peace a wise man knows it cannot be only the woman that have problem things fall apart when center does not hold but folds and the center of the fell marriage is the man as usual, it's always that the woman have to bear certain excesses or undesirable situation till they cannot bear no more. And one um, prevalent thing is that only sisters all, always overbearing in the palace management, like women who refuse to look for husband or sit down in their husband's house. No woman can be comfortable where a mother and or sisters in law, the sisters in law are always meddling in her um, privacy and home affair. She said it's not um, religion, but I've always seen it as uh, light and darkness. And guys, this is where I want to say something about this light and darkness. Okay, Oni has um, um, yeah, gotten the sun. She. Uh, sorry, he need he needs he wants and needed as a traditionalist. He is free to you know share his uh, royal oath and have many wives, concubine, baby mamas, children, um, as he wants. But one thing is one thing he must put to an end is to his sisters and mother mothers influences and visit in the palace, unless he's weakling to them. Let his sister go and marry and raise their children and sit down in their husband's house. Shoe, a laughing still they acquire more sweet sixteen at the old at his old age. Now waiting only problem beast. I be in no gate P or G, but no insinuation like FFK. Making consult a laughing for old man wisdom so guys this is it and uh, why i read this out is mainly uh, for two reasons one is where the writer, the writer talk about uh, light and darkness guys uh, even though he or she never um, elaborated on it but uh, i have something to say about that um i had you know a lot of people as well you know talked about uh, Queen naomi cannot serve two master at the same time that she's a prophetess that um she went to marry a king she should have known that that that, that will affect her sometime maybe in the future and all that that if uh, queen naomi want to serve god she should just you know forget about anything that has to do with only and all that 
and that if really she wants to serve Jesus because of um, you know 90% of the things of uh, you know Africans uh, especially the monarch it's you know they, you know it has to do with the uh, rituals performing which is uh, uh, idolatry so for me um the writer is uh, somehow right to some extent but the only thing i i disagree with uh, him uh, him or her that wrote this is uh, one thing because uh, you know as long as um Queen Naomi is not uh, with them during uh, those ritual performing or whatever uh, they are sacrificing and all that. I don't think uh, she, uh, she's, uh, you know, you can say she's into worshipping another god. No. She's only married to a traditionalist. The traditionalist too is also going to the church. It's not like he doesn't go to the church. He goes to the church but the only thing is that he's a half traditionalist and half a church person. So guys, secondly, um, talking about FFK, comparing Oni with FFK as a serial and divorcee, um, guys, um, we, ha we, are, we have all seen it, that the person who wrote this, this post is not even a recent something. It's, I think it's been a long time the person wrote this. And, you know, most of times when we talk, it would be as if uh, we are, you know, talking against somebody or we are trying to like, uh, you know, um, you know, jeopardize somebody and uh, in favor of the other person. But it's not always like that because a lot of people are seeing what is happening. And that is why you see a whole lot of people talk about Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi was never the only wife only married before and uh, now. Only has married about two or three persons even before queen naomi so why is it queen naomi queen naomi now why is queen naomi talk of the internet why is she the person that you know that is like she is draining everyone wants to see her with the king back everyone wants to see her together with the king again why must it why must it be she why can't uh, only move ahead or move forward because there is something, there is something that uh, that is between them. There is something that cannot be changed. And that thing, Queen Naomi has come to break that protocol that has been there for long, guys. Yes, she did. And she also brought light to the king. But, of course, all those diabolic women, all those diabolic people, they are just trying everything possible best. To see that these people are not back together. Look at how uh, Oni during his uh, 47th uh, birthday. Look at how he as in praises this woman. I will still play the video. You guys will still see it. Look at how he so much lavish praises on this woman. So after that birthday. The birthday was just like few uh, October. Then December. I mean, just two months interval. Then the whole marriage. And the whole being together and everything. Just crashed overnight guys so you see the person comparing uh, only with ffk the person is right it's right in the sense that between uh 2015 that uh only was enthroned till date has uh you know he has lived with uh, three different women and they all you know ran ran away overnight they would just pack their bag and their marriage has ended just like that so he is a, also a serial uh, uh, divorcee. So the person that compared them and uh, did a very good job by comparing them, in fact. And, uh, you know, the person stated some things which I've been talking in my other videos as well. Talking about her uh, own uh, sisters and uh, all those palace uh, forever. They, they are the cause of, uh, you know, only not having a stable marriage. All those people. They're the ones making these women when they come they will feel uncomfortable and they will decide to leave overnight so guys coming to the reason why i'm making this video there is a reason why i decide to make this video is because of those you know um always mentioning queen naomi's mother was the reason why queen naomi um uh, was having marital issue with only and that was why and um, she she couldn't stay in her, mar in her marriage and all that so my question to those people saying Queen Naomi's mother was the cause of uh, Queen Naomi divorcing Oni, 
what of those ones that their mother was never living with them in the palace? People like Quizenap and uh, uh, what is the other first one that left? Their mother was not staying with them in the palace. What chased them away from the palace? If you people are mentioning Queen Naomi's mother was the cause of the problem. If things were very okay, those two that left, would they have gone? No, they wouldn't have gone. They wouldn't have gone. Maybe Queen Naomi wouldn't have been in the palace. But they could not stay. The same thing that chased them away, chased Queen Naomi away as well. So, all those people saying uh, Queen Naomi was the cause of, uh, sorry, Queen Naomi's mother was the cause of uh, Queen Naomi not having a stable marriage. You people don't even know what you're saying, honestly. Because their mother never lived in the palace. But yet, they still left. So, it's uh, only that, you know, has to, like, you know, check himself very well to know the reason why and uh, they left him. So, guys, uh, something was uh, a kind of uh, fishy somewhere. But thank God, Oni has uh, realized himself and, uh, you know, has taken a bull step, like uh, I said in my other video. Yeah. So, I think this will bring me to the end of this video um just uh, write down your comment down the comment section below on your own opinion just put down your own opinion concerning this video say your mind concerning the light and darkness you know people comparing uh, uh, uh only with uh, queen naomi that they cannot be together because queen naomi is uh, serving god only is a traditionalist and uh, the case of her mother being the cause of the marital issue write down your own comment Thank you so much for watching.